and so many of you guys have asked for one so today I'm making a new one! Yay! What's up guys, it's Saf and today I am doing a brand new teen talk video as this has been so, so highly requested by so many of you on all of my videos. I'm finally doing one after a really long time. It's been a really long time since I've made one. So yeah, this video is about boys and love. So it's basically like a guy chat, basically. I'm just gonna chat about guys. I went over to my Instagram and my Twitter and my YouTube community and asked you guys for questions that you have about boys and love, relationships and all that stuff and the reaction was amazing. I got so, so many comments and I wish I could try and answer all of you guys but it is really difficult obviously. I'm definitely sure my video would be like three days long. I'm going to stop rambling on, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and don't forget to click that big red subscribe button for videos just like this uh, and anyway, yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Okie dokie, I've got all of the questions that I'm answering on here. I can't answer all of them as I said but I am going to try and answer as many as I can. First question uh, is what do you do if the guy you're with wants to start being physical but you're not sure if you want to be? Uh, stop, you're so pretty. Oh, thank you so much uh, for the last a little bit. I think if like the guy you're with wants to get like ooh, saucy, physical and that, obviously like that's a big thing in a relationship. Um, I don't know how old you are but I'm guessing you're a teenager. But I think if someone wants to get like physical, go a little bit further in a relationship, it's got to be a mutual decision. Um, you've got to have, there's got to be a lot of trust, there's got to be a lot of respect, there's got to be, uh, you've got to stick to your morals. So if you don't feel comfortable with it, then you should be doing it. Like, and if you felt like you were ready to do something, yeah, uh, and he wasn't, then you've got to respect that too. So if one of you isn't comfortable or happy with the decision, then you shouldn't be doing it. It's wrong and it's not right. You've got to both agree and be happy with it and it's got to be the right time as well in your relationship because anything beyond the kissing point in the legal law books uh, you have to be 16 to do because that is the age of consent for anything uh, other than you know kissing and that stuff so please remember that and keep that in mind but it is all about respect and morals and sticking to who you are and not like failing yourself because I feel like that's something that a lot of people do like they um, drop their morals on the floor for someone else and then they'll break up and then they regret it if you're not comfortable don't do it what are some things you look for in a guy? Um, I look for honesty that is a massive thing that I've learned to look for and it's definitely honesty so when someone is completely honest with you and they don't hide anything and all that stuff I look for humour so someone who can just have a laugh be a bit sarcastic and just like laugh along to anything someone who just doesn't care what other people think and is not afraid to be embarrassed um, they're not like awkward so someone who's not awkward obviously um, Someone with a little bit of like cheeky side. No, what even was that? That was so weird. I'm just a weirdo. Someone who is not afraid to talk and be open and speak about anything and talk about everything and anything that's going on in their lives. Everybody has like different types. I don't really have a type. I think types are weird. Like that's like labeling someone. So I don't have a type, but I just have things I look for. Is Charlie E. Drums your son? No, he's my uncle. What type of boys to avoid? <laughs> Types of boys to avoid. Players, F boys, obviously. And the types that really, you know, keep themselves to themselves and they don't open up. How do you deal with a breakup? This is a really popular comment, actually. I've seen a few of them. How to deal with a breakup it is difficult. You go through an emotional roller coaster and is <laughs> there's not an actual way like per personally you can actually like deal with it i think it's kind of just 
keeping yourself busy, remember that when you were with that person you had good memories. You probably ended because of something bad. You've just got to think of the, like, the good memories and leave them in the past. Don't delete photos, so don't like wipe all your conversations away, don't block them, it's pointless. Unless of course they're threatening you, that's completely different, that's a different story, but don't like force yourself away from it. Let it be part of your history and what makes you probably, maybe even a better person. Some things have to fall apart to fall back together. One night you're crying your actual eyes out and then the next morning everything's fine. It's like something clicks inside you. And yeah, just keep yourself busy, have some fun, listen to Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. How has your opinion and views on love changed? I don't think my opinion or views on love have changed. Maybe a little bit. One thing I have learned being in a relationship myself, home is a person, not a place. Once you feel like home, that's love. But sometimes we mistake homes for houses and we have to move sometimes. This next one is what is your first kiss story? Uh, my first kiss, uh, I was 14, I missed first time. It was great, I went straight for the nose. Well done, Saf. How do you know a boy wants you for the rest of his life? <clears throat> okay, so we are really early on in our lives. Like, I've only been on this earth 15 years. In a relationship, when you're just boyfriend and girlfriend, or girlfriend and girlfriend, and boyfriend and boyfriend, you can't think too much about future, because you could plan out your whole future with them, then you get hurt. <laughs> really, really hurt. Just think about what's happening now. Think about the things you're gonna do now. If he says he can't see, so like ask, almost like ask up front, do you see us having a future together? If he says no, leave. If he says yes, stay. How do you start a conversation with a guy you've never talked to before? Okay, so if you're talking about talking to them in real life, that's a bit different to talking about them, talking to them on text. Um, if you have their snap, or their number, then text them, just say hi, and just say, yo, we've never talked before, but thought I'd say hey anyway. If you're in real life, it's a bit different. Um, it's like a bit random, but why not? If you've got the confidence to do it, then just go and talk to them, but just talk because we're all humans at the end of the day, and we, were, we have voices and the ability to speak because we're meant to talk to each other. So just keep that in mind. How can you redress, <clears throat> how you, how can you redress a boy? What am I talking about? How can you reject a boy without hurting his feelings? This is a really difficult one because I hate hurting people's feelings. I hate letting people down. I hate it so, so much. It's like one of those things that makes me feel so so guilty it is unreal so if they say oh i like you then say oh my god that is so sweet or say something like that say what you'd like to hear from them if you told them that you like them if that makes sense you know if you went up to someone and said oh, i really like you and they said oh my god i don't like you i'm sorry then you'd be hurt but if they said oh my god you're so sweet then even though they didn't say, oh, I like you back, like it still means something, right? So just say, oh my God, that's so sweet. Or, oh, that's so sweet. But I just see us as friends this time, but you never know what the future's gonna bring. Cause you know, kindness is the best way to go. So just like talk to them and be nice, be kind and just be you. And just, you know, keep it, keep, keep it cute and sweet, girl. Keep it cute and sweet. It's just take it easy right here. Okay guys, we've come to the most popular comment. And this comment is, are you still with Ben? There are a lot of comments, as you can see. Ben and I broke up about two months ago. Um, it was just before my tour, um, which was really difficult because it was around Valentine's Day at the time. And my performance for Valentine's Day was actually where we met. So like, all good things have to come to an end some point and this was one of those things we just didn't work and sometimes two people don't work and as much as you think that you're working and that you think 
that you're doing really well sometimes you're not and I've only just begun to like move on from what happened but it's been very complicated and I know I've kept you guys in the dark a little bit and you guys have asked all the time about what's happened and whether we're still together or where like photos of us two but we're just not a thing anymore. We had a good run of 10 months which is pretty good for this age I guess and yeah I don't want you guys to go and hate on him don't want you guys to go and, you know, yeah. um, don't go and do that. <laughs> Life goes on, right? You never know what the future holds. I have let go now, which is a really good feeling, but, you know, there's no hard feelings, there's no hate or anything, so, you know, it's chill, you know? Some things ha everything happens for a reason. And, you know, there's a reason to this, so... Okay guys, that is the end of my video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. You guys sent in some brilliant questions and I wish I could answer all of them, but I just can't. As I said, it would take three days to finish them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you comment below if you have any more questions and I can try my best to reply. Comment your stories, we'll make the comments section a teen talk forum all about boys, love and relationships uh, down there. So make sure you go and comment anything about that like this whole subject um any stories you have to tell anyone any advice you have for anybody uh any questions you have make sure you comment those so we can all talk to each other about it and yeah make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also make sure you hit that massive big red subscribe button if you would like more videos just like this and i'll see you guys very very soon lots of love <laughs>